Hey guys, welcome to What Is Truth. Today we have an awesome reaction video of Michael Knowles' re uh, debates on sex, gender, and transgenderism. I'm here with Neil. How you doing, guys? So we're excited to get right into this, guys. So let's see what happens. This is on the Whatever podcast. So let's let's react to this. We're gonna be reacting to this. It's gonna be really interesting. I think it's important when we're talking about that to again define our terms. So um, as a nod to the Daily Wire and Matt Walsh, what is a woman? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this one, Michael. Lay it on. But um, be before I have Michael respond to you, I I want all of you to respond. While we have Pixie go, then Far, then go, and then Jasmine. Go ahead. Um, a woman is a person who acts and is perceived as our societal perception of a woman. That's at least what is an actual societal of a social woman or whatever the hell she said. Um, she said, well, she said that it's a perception of how a woman is perceived in the society, a society, which is how, how we supposed to perceive a woman. Right. That's, that's, I mean, that's kind of true. I mean, I mean, obviously, but the like, way if I, just... if I see a guy who's a guy. In society, I'm going to perceive him as a guy. Yeah, because of his... In science, this is called a phenotype. So how you're... In science, is divided. Just talking about... I wouldn't say race, but just how you look is two ways. Genotype and phenotype. Genotype is going to be your genes, how you made. Phenotype is what your genes are saying you're going to be looking like. So if you're a male, your genes are going to tell you to look like a male, which is going to be... You know, more masculine. Uh -huh. More masculine, male characteristics, no breast. You're going to have more muscle tissue, probably going to be taller. You're probably going to have a deeper voice and so on. If your chromosomes, your genotype is XY, that's going to ter determine the characteristics of a female, which is going to be breast. Um, long, a lo long, uh, longer hair. I don't uh, know. That's, uh, that's uh, more like, like society. Right. No, it's more like a body shape. Hips. Smaller on the body shape, hips. wider on the hips. Right. Even you just talking about your bone structure, women have a wider hips than men because they need to give birth. Right. Muscle uh, structure is exactly. different too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but the thing that I find interesting is like what she's pretty much saying. Because I was just thinking about when you were saying, I was like, it's like saying a bird is a bird that flies outside. I perceive it as a bird. So it's kind of okay. This, that's nothing. Yeah. I mean, she's not really explaining it. Okay. Let's do it. She's just yeah, exactly. Just half of it. <laughs> Farah? Um, I'd like to do more research on this topic before <laughs> publicizing an opinion. Vito. <laughs> Are you joking? That's really your answer? That is my answer as of now. Hey, come on, so Farah. Even if you on. couldn't, even if you're not going to reason about it, let's just talk from your own personal prejudices and stuff. What do you, come on, just between us gals. Just between just us. Just between us gals. That's your, mm -hmm. you know, we can talk after the show. What? But I like to, I like to oh, thoroughly think Even Shia LaBeouf wants you to... It. I like to okay, thoroughly sorry. think out my opinions before publicizing them and platforming them. You, come on, you, you don't have a hunch. I bet you have a hunch. Of I didn't say I don't have is. a hunch. What's but that doesn't hunch? mean I want to platform my hunches. You okay. okay? It's okay. too dangerous right. to venture an, an answer these days. Okay. Jasmine. Give a hunch. Yeah. Uh, I would take kind of Pixie's view. I think women can be. I don't think trans women and biological women are the same, but I don't think trans women are men either. Like they're, you know, you can have an umbrella term for women and have both trans women and biological women so under it without the, realizing that without also saying that they're exactly the same and they have all the same issues and everything's the same. If they're them. neither men nor women, what are they? They are she women. Said I said, they but they're, I would say they're a part of the umbrella of women. Okay. Not yeah. a part of the umbrella. They, uh, yeah, they are. Well, do you think she's referring to part of the umbrella? Because I never heard that on any of my biology classes or taxonomy, nothing. No, it's just... Or even on psychology. I never heard she, that. It's, it's like, it's it's odd. I think she knows that they're not the same, but she's trying to find an excuse to not be alienated towards them. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. She said Because she said, I don't think they are the same. But okay. they fall into the umbrella right. of a woman. But but they fall into the umbrella of it. You, yeah, it's a, that's a contrary contradiction in her. Because if you statement. want to talk about taxonomy, and taxonomy is more about kingdom, phylum, class, order, all of that, so that's how we determine what species this is from, and so on. For example, right. we are from Kingdom Animalia, so we will fall into the umbrella of animals, okay? Right, right, right. So our dolphins, reptiles, and so on. But once you go down more on the rabbit hole, we're mammals. Uh -huh. They're reptiles. They're exactly. Insects. Exactly. Yeah, right, right, we start getting divided. But and this is. But this is. This but it'll is... be the same on this because. If you're saying that a trans woman and a biological woman, they're not the same, 
is because the trans woman falls into the umbrella of a man. Right. And but then at the same time, if she's saying that, then it's not really human then. Then it would have to be another exactly. species, uh-huh. which is or which, another exactly. animal. It'll be another type of Homo sapien. Yeah, that's that doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. So um and then the other girl too, she her for not wanting to say something like I get it, it's true. Like if you don't have anything if you don't if you're not educated on a certain topic, you shouldn't say anything about it, which I agree. Mm-hmm. But this Still is point. common sense. This is not like something that you need education for. At all. You don't need At a PhD all. on this. And and here's another thing too. In the animal society, certain animals, because there are certain animals that are asexual that have both sexual organs inside of them, but that's different, right? But majority in mammals, right, specifically, there is a male and female. You don't see a transgender lion or a transgender whale. You see, like he mentioned, you see it on reptiles. But right, right. We're not. Or even animal. some types of like small microorganisms, but it's exactly different. Exactly, micro. Yeah. Because they're unicellular. Exactly. So they, they're able to adapt and change right away. Uh, obviously, there are certain uh, exemptions here on, uh, on Homo sapiens, us humans. We might be born with a double X and a Y chromosome or X, Y, X, and so on. Right. But even then, still, one organ is still dominant versus the other one's not developed. Exactly. The other one is just it's just like a, a, an appendage. It doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. And those are legit transgenders because they actually need to get that body part that was being... Uh, the, the part develop but yeah the part that's just like for example they call it the the micro penises or whatever uh-huh. they like a girl could have a micro penis but she has her full and it's actually less than 0. 0.10 it's less than 0. 0.10 you're more likely to population. get hit by a lining than meeting a person yeah like with, with them exactly and then it's only like they have a micro penis but they don't have the testicles and have any of the mm-hmm. hormones it's actually just it's more just like a growth like imagine you have like this yeah. growth that's it it's nothing else versus they have their full um uh ovaries and all that Mm -hmm. and that's the actual uh uh, functioning one so yeah that's that's where it's the difference okay let's let's see um, yeah they are because they're biological men so they're both you can be a trans man or a biological man or you can be a a trans woman and a biological woman so Hmm. depending on how you're looking at it if you're looking at biology yeah they're not the same can you though can your identity be different you know your metaphysical identity be different your your biological identity identity? can definitely be different than your social identity how easy um when (laughs) this goes back to the whole chromosomes argument but like you didn't check any of our chromosomes or biology before calling us a woman right which kind of i think there are enough indicators (laughs) enough indicators but you base those indicators on like appearance so obviously all of my perception yeah yeah because your our perception of a woman is going to be based on the like i mentioned is going to be based on the phenotypes how women are developed and how they're grown based on their genotypes. Right. And then the thing she says, well, your biological could be different than your your social. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to go on the one that's based on fact and not based on social organization because social organization could be wrong in so many different uh-huh. ways versus biological is going to be factual because that's what your body is made up of, mm-hmm. what your DNA is made up of, what your what your chromosomes are made up of. So that's just that, that just blows that argument out of the water. Yeah, and and I mean, it's and I mean it's obvious to, like to tell. Sometimes I mean there are some people who are uh, trans that do look very much like a girl, like a girl. It, but because they've been taking certain types of hormones, or they've done some stuff that mm-hmm. is what women would have naturally biologically. And that's how you think that they're a woman. So because still that's how a woman should look. Right. So it still doesn't counter the argument of like social appearance. Uh-huh. Because I'm still I'm seeing feminine qualities on you because you're changing your body to be more feminine. Which female. determines a woman. Exactly. So Yeah. You so know, you look like women, you walk like women, you smell like women. I, I think you're women. That's her point, it's a performance and you're basing off the of the secondary, like secondary sex, sex characteristics, characteristics yeah. is what you're basing them on, and people can change their secondary sex your, characteristics. Yeah, your bodies is what I'm basing yeah. it on. Which yes. you can change that. But you, but I don't, I'm not sure that you can actually, because I think what's what's here at the basis of it is a Gnostic idea that you're you can separate your soul and your body. And I know we don't like to use the word soul anymore, so we'll say your identity, man, or whatever. <laughs> but that you can separate that from your body. And I just don't think you can. I think a woman is the sort of person who isn't a man. I think that's the basic definition of a woman. What's a man then? A man is the sort of person who isn't a woman. What? How did you know we were women? Because you look like women. Okay, and so you sound I'm, like women. And I'm, when I talk to you, 
You give the impression that you're women. So if a really good passing trans woman is here and you were mistaken, would then you? I would be mistaken. But he yeah. would not be a, a woman. No, but my point. But is I that can what be mistaken. You're, on what rare you're occasion. looking at is secondary sex characteristics, and yeah. those are things that people. Can those are the change. signs that so point to, pretend to the reality that, of their oh, sex. Oh, this is all men and women, and like. Uh, but you know, I'm not saying the signs are synonymous with their sex. Mm -hmm. I'm saying the signs are signs, and the signs symbolize something but there is something to say about somebody that like like you said walks talks looks like a woman and to say that this is now a hundred percent a man a hundred no there's you have to say no, he would be he would be per performing as a woman and he might even fool me depending on how much surgery so he's he would had, socially be a woman he he would be he would try to do no he's not going to be socially a woman he's going to pretend to be a woman I would say that's different. Socially, he would he would identify as being a woman, uh -huh. but still inherently biologically, and you're even if you argue against socially. Because if a person finds out that that you're a woman, they're gonna like, oh, I mean, they find out that you're a man, but you're actually like a woman. They're not gonna think, oh, this is a woman I'm talking to. They're gonna think this is a man thinking he's a woman. Exactly. So it doesn't change anything. No, you're it's, it's to once you, it's revealed to them, then they're gonna think that. So mm -hmm. either you're gonna have to live. In mystery with people, or you have to tell them the truth, or you have to lie, or you have to live a life of lies, which is that's never good. And yeah. the argument that he's bringing up is that I like what you said before. Well, if you see someone that was this way and you were mistaken, that I'm wrong, exactly. But doesn't mean that he's right uh -huh. physically. It doesn't mean that he's right. It just means that I was wrong. My yeah, perception. My, exactly. My perception of who he looks as was wrong, but doesn't mean that you're right. Like, you can pretend to be a man, that's fine. I mean, there's nothing against it, but don't force that lie into other people. Right, and, and the other thing, too, is that, um, like, I know in science, we, we, we base our observations by, you know, our senses. But sometimes there'll be things that scientists will study that are factually this way, and then one scientist could view it by mistake of his own ses, se, a sense, sense perception, and he's wrong. But the object itself isn't wrong. It doesn't mm -hmm. make the. It doesn't make the. Let's just say, for lack, lack lack of a better explanation, but like a hypothesis wrong. Maybe the hypothesis is correct, but because of the science scientist's own error of his own perception, mm -hmm. then it causes that. But the thing itself is still correct. However, when it comes to this situation, the hypothesis is declaring itself being something else, being that it's not correct inherently, and I'm calling it correct. But then I maybe. Yeah. wrong due to my false perceptions of it so, it's so pretty much what he's saying is that the hypothesis is not based on the results of the experiment that you had is based on the on the logic of other people right which that's going to leave you to thinking that's going to leave everybody to think that they're right on the way they think and it's like no right all right, we're gonna watch another. That. But I, well, I don't think society should recognize he those would, tricks. He would, to the, he would yeah. succeed to the, the point, point where you don't matter. even realize. <laughs> yeah. Usually, you do realize is the thing. I like. I know they it's convince like themselves bias. that they really. Yeah, but they, you know, I've met plenty of transsexuals because they protest my speeches, and they uh, usually you can tell because again, it gets to what we're talking about at the very top of this debate, which was the, the question of human nature. Right? I think. Me and old Uncle Aristotle believe that you're a, you're a body and a soul together. That's I'm not soul. just my soul trapped in a useless body. I'm not just my body without a soul or totally separated from my soul. I think I'm a soul and a, and a, and a body together. So my body gives me much of my sex. It, to use the technical term, it's an inseparable accident of the individual. Uh, I, and I think that pertains to my whole person, because you can't separate those two, for the whole of my life. You change Pixie, can, can yeah. men get pregnant? Can men get pregnant? Not biological men. Okay. Yeah, trans men can. Okay. Can, um, yeah. can we really divide men up like that? <laughs> like, I'm a biological man, but I'm a spiritual woman, and I'm a... I mean, we do, we, um, what is it? We do classifications um, within gender all the time. Black woman, white woman, for example. That'd be... Exactly. Because of your genes. You right. make the classification of your race based on your genes. Genes, not by how you socially uh -huh. believe you are. So in that case, any black person can think that he's a white person and say that I'm a white person, and we have to accept that? Nowadays, no, because then that that get, that brings in a lot of social issues. Now, think think about this through civil rights. Imagine if every white slave owner, right, just said, "Oh, I'm a black person too," and just so just so they could get away from, let's say, from the crime that they've committed. And now you have to respect them because now you're going against mm -hmm. their their identity. 
So that and that's that's a very and here's another thing too. That's a very risky water to 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 say because I think this is a big issue a lot with um, with a lot of uh, um, civil rights movements. It's when the gender um, civil rights movement tries to make itself equal to the racial rights mm-hmm. movement. The difference is, is that these racial rights movement is something they have no control over whether they're born with a certain skin color or whatever, right? Or or, or mm-hmm. even geographic origin. Versus the other one is more based on the idea of the choice. And when you try to align them to say that, oh, they're inherently the same, they're not. And that could be pretty offensive towards the other side. Um, yeah, which is ridiculous because at the end of the day, I mean, how is it that... How can they actually accept the fact that your race is determined by your genes, but not your gender? Right, right, right. It's different. Yeah, let me see what Michael Knoll says, and then we'll mm-hmm. stop it. Racial. Yeah, not no, gender. but that's still within the scope of women. You're still saying, oh, there's, there's women who are black, there's women who are not black. There are women who have had essay experiences, yeah. there's women who R- haven't had experiences. Race is real, though it's actually... Uh, more difficult to pin down than sexual difference, but it's real. Yeah, they're different races, sure. Yeah. So you can be black people and white people are different races, and men and women are different sexes. Last thing and, on, the, yeah. oh, sorry, one, go ahead. one can't yeah. become the other, except in the case of Michael Jackson, who he got the closest, but he was still, mm. I think he was still a black guy. Wasn't that Villa Lock? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so he's right on that. It's actually a lot easier to determine what race you are in contrast to determine what gender are you. No, 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 it's the other way around. He, he, Michael Knowles says it's harder to determine what race you are. And it's, yeah, that's why. It, it's harder. Yeah, you it's harder. It. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's harder because obviously because there's so many different types of because like there's no perfect because people always have this misconception and people like oh there's just like like for example let's use a white white person oh the, everyone from their ancestry has been white that's not true there's people in their ancestry that could have been Mexican there's people in their ancestry that could have been um, African there's people in their ancestry that could have been Asian right all of our races are mixed. We could just have more of the same types of um, racial ethnic groups that have married together. Mm -hmm. But in those marriage families, eventually a family member may marry someone outside of the ethnic family hold. So that means that you're now mixed. That's why I believe everyone's mixed. They're just different portions. That's why when you get like, like, oh, I'm 30% this, I'm 50% this. If it was true that we were only one ethnic group, then the test should always come back with a 99 or 100%. Mm-hmm. Result, you this and that, and yeah, and it goes back to um, well, I'm gonna go back to the gender thing. I just find it ironic that they're willing to accept the fact that you cannot change your race, but you can change your gender, yeah, which makes no sense because you, your sex is gonna be determined by your genotype, and so is your gender. Your gender is gonna be determined by your genotype. If you have X and X, XX chromosomes, you're gonna be a woman, XY, you're gonna be a male. You can pretend to be a woman if you're a guy. That's fine. Like, at the end of the day, you can fool us. But the truth is, you're not. Right. Factual. Like, biologically. Bi- I mean, because if you're biologically would be the basis. Mm-hmm. All the other stuff could become social constructs. And a lot of them are based because of, like, people's cardinal feelings or what they feel. And a lot of that stuff, just because I feel something doesn't mean it's factually true. Like, if I feel like I really want to punch someone in the face, does that mean that I should act on that feeling? Exactly. Right? It's just it's just different. And then, you know, like, and there's a lot of confusion in this. And I, I want to tie this into, like, the idea of scripture. So, like, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9 through 10 says that the heart lies above all things. And that it's full of wickedness, right? Mm-hmm. And then who knows what the heart knows, right? Like, what we know, what comes from it, it's, it's just wickedness, right? And the only person that knows our heart is God. So a lot of the times when people say, well, you should go by what your heart says. You should go by what your feelings say. You know, that's not good advice. A lot of it's going to lie and hurt you. Do you think that's actually like a sin? Yeah, because you're you're going to buy. First of all, you're not you're not submitting your heart to God. Right. So this is in the Bible. You're supposed to give your heart wholeheartedly to God. Right. So he dwells into the most inner parts of your heart and he searches your heart. That's what David says. Lord, search into search all the areas of my heart, search all the dwelling places of my heart. And we are given a new heart that's in Ezekiel, but even then we have to be careful. Like I, if, if I'm talking about this psychologically, it's like my heart is third, then it's my reasoning and rationale that's superior to that. That means I reason what I'm feeling, mm-hmm. which we should. Because if people just act on what their heart feels or what they go on that, especially their emotions, they're going to be uh, not reasonable, not rhetoric. That's why you have to think things through. 
And then on top, like if it's like a pyramid hierarchical, mm-hmm. then it's God, right? So it's God first. I get emotional. I'm going to reason it with God, not lean on my own understanding, but lean on God's understanding of it and then go in that in life. And then whatever I'm dealing with, I need help on that. You know, I go seek help, you know, mm-hmm. go, go with a psychologist, a pastor or a good friend, you know? Yeah, because my point of view on this, on the transgender movement, I mean, I don't have anything against them like at all. Uh, the way I see it is that they have a little bit of issues on the inside accepting themselves. Right. And, and the thing is, like, I'll, I'll, fi- I'll finish off with this, is that we're not, we're not going to go, you know, go up to someone and tell them all this stuff, oh, right? No. If they ask me about what the Bible says, then I'm going to tell them what the mm-hmm. Bible says. I'm, like, I'm not going to deny truth. But the difference is, is that this is pushed on us. So we're having to, you know, talk about these things. So it could be just, you know, bring awareness to the situation and now bring strife of each other. Because uh-huh. more strife will bring to more confusion. More confusion will bring to more disarray. More disarray brings yes. it to tribalism. And then tribalism is going on. Where even, if, if, like, look at it. Even in the transgender area, I'm sure in transgenderism, there's even tribalism in that area where they're going against each other mm-hmm. on identification because of the confusion. And obviously, if any of us, we run into someone that is a trans and they ask us to refer them as, I don't know, Sophia, something like that, but they're Alex. Uh, we'll do that. I would respect. Like, we, oh, yeah, because like, like a name is different, uh-huh. I would think. I mean, because you could change your name. Like Kanye changed his name from Kanye yeah. to Ye- Ye. No, but what I mean by that is like, for example, we're sitting across the table from a trans person and they just ask us politely to refer to them as not as Alejandro, but as Sophia, because now they think that they're a woman. We're going to respect that. Like, we're not going to try to push away from that belief because at the end of the day, you you have your right to believe whatever you want. But so do we. Right. You have no right on pushing that down those throats. Right. Like, you're not going to... We can't change our factual dialogue with you just because of the way you feel. Mm-hmm. That, that's why I was saying, like, with the name, okay, that's fine, because everyone changes their name. But when it comes to, like, you know, if I have to change my dialogue, my basic language of pronouns and all this other stuff, then I'm going to be confusing my own self and denying my own literal language that's been around for thousands of years that has had those identifications exactly but anyway guys thanks for tuning in to what is truth i'll have neil's clothing brand i'm wearing one of his line crafts and he's oh yeah we actually just released backpacks those are going to be available soon yeah so i'll put a link on that guys so you guys could check this out and remember guys what is the truth the truth is jesus christ thank you Travel.